welcome back to Inktoberfest. I can't believe we're actually on the last day. And today I'm working with Lindy's products. Now I saw these uh, last year at Salt Lake City. I bought some, I love them. And I'm really excited to show you them as part of Inktoberfest and show you some tips and tricks because you might not know some of the things you can do with them that aren't with water. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you. A couple of other things we're going to talk about. Um, of course, don't forget to go and check out the rest of the Inktoberfest playlist. Uh, I'm gonna link that up for you. Check out the blog post. We've had tons of giveaways throughout the month. A few may still be open as well, depending when you're watching this. And uh, we've got lots of fun things. We created a huge tag book. Where's mine? It's here. So you can see all of these tags we created during Inktoberfest. We've talked about so many different techniques, layering, using your stencils in different ways, painting with hybrids, um, using sparkle sprays, talking about pigment inks, all sorts of amazing things. So hopefully you've learned lots. I'd love to know what your favorite was. So leave us a comment to let us know your favorite day or maybe the top tip that you learned during Inktoberfest. And um, you can be sure we'll be doing it again next year too. But of course, hit subscribe, ring the bell. We always have daily videos here at Hedgehog Hollow. They might be tips, tricks, storage ideas, something a little bit different, lots of fun things, lots of reasons to join us. So make sure you've hit subscribe, give the videos a thumbs up. It really does help us as creators too. And also uh, you've got that join button if you wanna be part of the Hedgehog Hollow community. So as I say, we're gonna be working with Lindy's today and this is their spray. So this is how they come. You can get them individually or in packs like this. And you'll notice they just have powder in the bottom of them. They also give you a really useful postcard all about the info. Um, but the main thing to know is you want to fill these with water to the fill line, which is on the back here. And then you want to leave them for 10 minutes to make sure everything has dissolved so that all the magic will still happen if it hasn't all dissolved then you can get them clogged up in that nozzle and you know that's not gonna give you the full functionality so these sprays are just fab so I'm gonna take this one so this is a starburst spray in afternoon delight denim all of their bottles are filled by hand which is amazing and the reason I don't put the water in is to reduce shipping costs and just to make it easier so they don't get any leaks and things in the mail now I'm just gonna spray this and this is just because I'm using it for the first time, you want to prime it. But look how amazing that colour comes out. I probably should have used a splat box because Greg's not going to like that clear up, but it's okay. And I'm going to take a heat gun and I'm going to dry it out so you can see how cool these are to work with. You can also layer colours, do all sorts of other fun things. I am working on my travel Tim Holtz mat. I can already see some of that iridescence as it's drying, it just looks amazing. And you can see and get big splats, small splats, you know, you can do all of those kinds of fun things. And you can layer with them as well, which is another technique that I love. You could also take some kitchen towel and blot off and do things like that too. Um, but as I say, you can layer. This is another Starburst spray in French Lilac Violet. And um, I mean, I'm just going to take the mess that I get. But you can see there how I can layer colours together. And I'll pick it up in a second and I'll show you how iridescent and awesome these are. Just looking if I had, I don't have any kitchen towel, I have a baby wipe. Um, so what I could do is I could pick out some colour, you see, or I could wait and dry these off. But as I'm doing a video, I'm going to just pick it up so that you can see that awesome colour. Um, clean up wise, a kitchen towel, baby wipe. You might need a little bit of isopropyl alcohol sometimes, but all of those will work for you. And I'm going to pick this up so you can see. Look at how amazing and iridescent these look. Look how much shimmer is in those. Absolutely beautiful. So love all of those options. Um, and you have a few different kind of colours in there. Lots of mica, of course. All those gorgeous things. And then something else I want to show you are their magicals. So these are magicals. You can see here. And they've got a couple of different sets here. This is autumn leaves and this one's under the boardwalk now you can use these with water which is what i'm going to show you first of all i'm just going to take the lid off it's going to pull oh it's stuck on i should have got greg to open this up front but i didn't um so i'm just going to take my tim holt scissors in here and just break that seal these are perfect at doing that you could also use your craft pick some kind of seal in there and then, oh, I might have to get Greg to do this. Greg! Uh, Oops, we're good. 
<laughs> magic great. Fix these things without touching them. Um, so the thing about magic holes, and I want to, again, show you a couple of different things. So what you do is you open it up like this carefully, and you'll see there's a very fine powder in there. Now, you only need a little bit of the powder any one time. So a uh, water brush works really well. And my top tip for filling a water brush is to use your Nouveau spray bottle. So if you put that nozzle here, you'll find it pretty much fills any water um, pen or water brush, however you want to call it, but it works so well. So if you've filled these in the past, you'll know how they overflow, you get soaking wet. Whereas if you just do it with that spritz, it takes a couple of spritzes and it fills it up. So I'm gonna just go off to the side here and dab like this and tiny bit so you can see I really don't have much on the end of my brush and then I'm going to start painting and you're going to see all these beautiful variations so I've got purple in there there's a little bit of red in there again though look at all of that iridescence so that's not just because it's wet it is actually iridescent which is just beautiful um, but something else that you can do is you can take a brush, and I this Tim Holtz one is awesome. If you haven't seen this, we'll be sure to link it up, but you can actually um, unscrew this. Okay, mine's stuck on. But um, what you can do is you can take this piece off. Mine's just got stuck. Uh, mine's are super old. But you take this off, and then you have a thick round brush, and then you just squish it, put this back on again, and you have a thick brush. So go check that out. Um, I think actually I might not have picked up my Tim Holtz one. I might have picked up a non Tim Holtz one yet because this isn't coming off. But if you get the Tim Holtz version of this, which I do have in my drawer somewhere, um, this piece comes off to make you a flat brush and then you put it on and I'll make sure I link up the correct one because looking at this, like the shape of it, I don't think this is the Tim Holtz. So this time I have 91% alcohol. It has to be over 80% for this to work. This is in the squeaky clean dispenser from Brutus Monroe. Um, and I just like this because you can see how easy it is to pick it up with your paintbrush. Again, I'm just gonna pick up a tiny bit, but this time I'm just gonna bring in some Yupo paper because all of a sudden now I've turned this into paintable alcohol ink. I need a little bit more alcohol. Dean, trying to be ambidextrous here. But look at that. So now you have iridescent alcohol paints, which I just think is awesome. So you could use any one, but look at that. And now I can paint in all of my alcohol inks. Maybe if I had a background and I wanted to paint certain areas, alcohol lifting, you know, all of those fun techniques we know you can use with this. So that's another super cool way to use them. So I want you to just share some tips and tricks. So remember you pop the water in up to the fill line, leave it for 10 minutes, then you can use it. Then also with the magicals, you can dissolve them in either water or you can dissolve them with alcohol to make your own alcohol ink paints. Again, another really cool technique on there too. You can also pop your Starburst, Starburst sprays down in your glass mat, and then you can ink smush with them. That's another really cool technique. So lots and lots of different things you can explore. We'll add some links to Lindy's in the description below for you, so go check those out and um, go check out the video we did at their booth a little while ago. Um, we'll make sure that's linked up. If you look under the Salt Lake City Mixed Media Show, you'll find that video too. So thank you so much for joining me here for the whole of Inktoberfest. I hope you've loved it. We'll be back again next week with more info and more videos and everything else. So join us then. I'll see you again soon. Happy crafting. Bye.